guys, it's coffee time. Dance, 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 coffee time. Uh, having iced coffee again. Hmm. So, um, a friend of mine who also watches this show said, you know what you should do an episode on one time? Because I want to know the answer to this. And I was like, what? She's like, you should do an episode talking about why you love speed painting so much. And I was like, okay. So for those of you who don't know what speed paintings are, it's when um, somebody is painting something and they speed up the footage of them painting the entire thing from start to finish. And then uh, you just, you watch the footage of it just like magically happening. Oh, I love it so much. I specifically um, Photoshop ones on YouTube. I watch so many of those. And it started off with um, like the hyper realistic, like repaintings of celebrities and things like that. And those are so cool. Um, I specifically love the moments when uh, when they go back, like they've they've made all of their their starting lines for it, like the original, the starting sketch. And then they've started coloring it in. And then randomly out of nowhere, they'll be like, oh, I don't like that line anymore. And then you'll see them like erase it and then redraw it. And I'm like, ah, you made a mistake. I don't know. I... <laughs> that sounds really maniacal. But like just just watching the entire process happen in like a five minute video is so cool. I watch so many of those. It's um, So the reason that I said that I used to watch mostly like realistic celebrity faces is because now... I've moved on to watching specifically, like, dragons. And I went through a stage where I was watching ones of, like... There, there are people who spend a lot of time making really cool speed painting... Well, paintings and then speeding them up. Paintings of uh, Han characters. And just, like, ah, it's so cool. I love them. And if I were to explain why I love them... I'm not sure. I think because I've... I love Photoshop, and I play with Photoshop a lot, and I also do a lot of drawing. So, I think watching those videos, it's interesting because now when I think about the process for how I would want to do something in Photoshop, I utilize some of the things that I've seen people do in these videos, even though you can't, most of the time they don't film it in a way where you can see, like, what tools they're using for different things, but I still get to see, like, um, the process of layering like different colors on top and uh and adding like specific textures to very specific things or um how people use the liquify tool in really cool ways that I've never thought to uh it's just it's really cool for me um and I think I think that if I I would be able to explain it in a more legitimate way if I was spending more time like sketching like I used to which I don't anymore, and I don't, I don't have, like, a tablet, really, that I'm able to, uh, to do, like, fancy drawings on and things. Oh, man, when we went to, was it PAX, or was it GDC? It was GDC. Went by the, the Wacom, uh, booth. Oh, they had the most beautiful tablets there. They're, like, this big, like, basically a desk that's just a tablet, and people got to come up and just, like, draw things, and I was like, ah! I didn't do it because they made it so that you can draw things and then whatever you were drawing shows up on, like, a screen that everybody's, like, staring at. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that and get judged. Ice, why do you always make drinking things difficult? <laughs> Our ice machine makes really big pieces of ice, so sometimes when you're drinking, suddenly it'll just, like close up any gap that ever happened and all the liquid will try to go on the outsides of your mouth and you're like no anywho back to speed paintings um yeah although i guess okay i think speed paintings is the wrong word for it because i think there's time lapse and speed and i think speed when you say that somebody's doing a speed painting that means that they like they are doing the painting like real time but fast uh, but time lapse is when you, you, uh, compact however much amount of time it took to make the whole thing. Um, I did, for Dodge This, I did, uh, an interview with this dude named Jim Han, who does, Jin Han, who does, uh, 
he does like comic book illustrations. Oh, and they're so good. And he was showing me some of the ones that are like huge, huge and so detailed. I was like, how long does it take you to do these? And he was like, uh, this one, I guess, took about like six hours. And I was like, how do you do that in six hours? That blows my mind. I don't know. He said that a lot of it is muscle memory, though. Like, you just, you get used to doing specific things um, and developing your own style and whatnot. But, I don't know, it's really interesting. And I think that that's why I like watching time-lapse stuff is uh, because I get to see, like, what steps a person who's really good at it, what they do and in what sequence. Um, so that when I do have time, it's, it's funny because, like, Drawing is always something that, that I do as like a, who, uh, but I haven't, I haven't drawn in a while. Like I haven't had that inspiration, that spark. And some people have, have the like drawing spark their whole life, which is just crazy to me because I go through stages of having the drawing spark. And it's a lot like, um, I have friends who are poets, but they, they go through huge droughts where they don't write any poetry for a really long time. And then suddenly, like, they'll have, they'll have that moment, that inspiration. And then they'll spend an entire weekend just writing poetry. And then they won't write for a while. I do that with drawing most of the time. Like, I doodle all the time. But if I'm, like, sitting down and saying, I want to draw this, uh, it happens because there's a spark. Because there's a reason that I want to do it. And so I think, I think watching people who are really good at it, um, helps me to be better because I'm able to mimic them and try new things, uh, when I do have those sparks. So I think that that's why I like it. Um, that and it's just like way cool. <laughs> like just in general, it's a really cool thing to watch to me. So If you've never watched any, I'll put a couple of my favorites, my current favorites, um, the, the links to those, those videos in my description so that you can watch a couple of the ones that I really like, but they're fun. They are fun. I enjoy them. Someday, someday I'm going to be rich. I'm going to be rich and I'm going to buy a, a table tablet <laughs> that is the size of my desk and I'm going to go, you're so pretty and I'm going to hug it all the time. I'm going to have to have, like, microfiber towels so that every time I hug it, I can be like, just kidding, <laughs> like, wipe it down. But that's a dream of mine. Someday. Someday. I'm going to be rich. Do that. Maybe. <sighs> yeah. Construction is still happening. Remember when construction had just started? It's still going, guys. I'm dead panning at my window. Anywho, I'm going to go to work. But uh, I hope you guys have a great day. And I will talk to you tomorrow.